Hey guys. Let's go eat. Everybody ready? Yeah, I hear you. Hey cows. Man. We got a barn flood going on, don't we? Man, I gotta get some wood chips in here. There you go. Hey, bud. Here you go. What a mud hole. Hey guys. What are you doing? Gonna eat my eggs? You ain't gonna eat no eggs. You want more food? Mm -hmm. right, let's go get some more eggs. Let me out, Chuck. All right, so our tires on our trailer, uh, the tread is great on them, but we figured out that they are dry rotted really bad. So we decided we're not gonna fool with that. So we ordered us some new trailer tires. And just because I ordered them off of Amazon, I'm gonna go ahead and mount them. I've got one of those Harbor Freight manual tire changers. So we're gonna change out those tires. And uh, I was looking at this and they've got center caps on these, but behind those center caps are bearing buddies. And I'm thinking I know myself and if those center caps are on there, those bearings are never gonna get greased. So I'm gonna take those center caps off. That way I've got access to the bearing buddy so I can grease them more often. So I think we'll do that while we're at it. Yeah, so Kevin blew all the dirt out of, out of the holes for the tire changes. So that will get it bolted down. We'll be ready to, get, ready to roll. is how we get to do this in the sloppy, wet, muddy mess. It'll be even better when we have our new garage where we don't Turn with me. Here, hold this bar down right there. Down? Yeah. yeah we're good. You can move. It's kind of 
kind of waiting for that to break loose and smash my knuckles. Yeah. We've got two of them changed already. We had a time figuring out how to get these trailer tires stretched onto these rims. It's not that much of a stretch. Uh, the rims are uh, seven inch rims and a trailer tires meant to go on a five and a half inch rim. So it's not that big a deal, inch and a half. But being brand new tires, they're crushed to where the, the beads uh, are touching each other. tired, I got a grunt to do everything now. Hey Tom. What's happening Tom? Why are you out in the rain? Why am I out in the rain?
I told Mama that's about the hardest 20 bucks I ever earned. <laughs> How long did that take us? Oh, a while. Three, 3.30. Probably three and a half hours. It was a good two and a half, anyway. I don't know what time we came out. You? Uh, let's, yeah, so we got these tires off of Amazon for like $63 a piece, I think they were. Um, they are a, a C load range, um, 1,820 pounds. I did figure out, they, the guy told me this was a 10,000 pound trailer, but when I was redoing the boards, I found the rating on the axles and they're 3,500 pound axles. So it's a 7,000 pound trailer because of the axles. I mean, obviously the frame is real beefy. Um, so if it had heavier axles, it'd be able to haul more. But um, with those 3,500 pound axles, all I needed was a load C tire. Um, I think, yeah, these are a C load range, 1,820 pounds a piece. So that gives me 36.40 per side, so, or per axle. So that that's plenty good for this. That's a 50 PSI. I wanted to get some trailer tires on it, especially with that dry rot. Um, I just didn't want to take any chances. I don't want to have to worry about changing tires on the side of the road and all that. So we just get, go ahead and get it all up into shape and ready to go before we use it. That way we don't have to worry about any problem. All right, guys. Well, I had this pretty shot of an awesome rainbow behind us, so I figured I'd go ahead and close out this video. Rain getting all over my uh, camera. But uh, yeah, so we put uh, new tires on the trailer. We got our trailer tires off of Amazon and uh, we just went ahead and mounted them on the rims that we had. I took the center caps off so I can get to the bearing buddies there, um, which reminds me I need to get the grease gun and go ahead and grease those up. But yeah, uh, me and Cameron decided this was about the hardest $20 we ever saved. Mounting those tires on there was not easy. Now, part of that is just that we've never really done it before. I mean, I've done it a little bit, but uh, I've never, definitely never stretched them. Um, so that was that was kind of a trip but with the tire sealer on there and everything that that worked out pretty good so we finally figured it out but anyway isn't that beautiful my goodness i love it and i love the rainbow god knew what he was doing didn't he all right we appreciate y'all watching y'all have a good day rainbow over peaks peak <laughs>